نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الكریم اما بعد سبحان کا لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انک انت العلیم الحکیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل الاقدت من لسان یفقه قولی رب زدنی علما اللہم لا سہل الا ما جعلته سہلا و انت تجعل الحزن ایدہ شیط سہلا So, brothers and sisters, uh, today we are going to start uh, our new, means our rules, our qawaid, they are related to al-mithalu, and you are very well aware of mithal, what is mithal, from seven types, or haft aqsam, I've written the definition of that, like, huwa ma kanat fa'uhu harf illatin, kanat fa'uhu harf illatin. Means al methal is a kalima, is a word or a verb. That's fa kalima happens to be harf illat, either waw or ya. If it is waw, it is known as methal wawi. And if it is ya, then it is methal yai. So you have got four examples in front of you. Wa'ada, this is verb, and uh, it's fa kalimatul fa happens to be harf illat and waw. So it is methal wawi. And yasara. So yasara, the ya of yasara is harf illat, and it is in kalimatul fa. So that's why it is misthalu yai. These two are the examples of verbs. And wardun, it is the example of noun. Wow means ismu na, that is what misthalu wavi in noun. And yumnun, it is misthalu yai in noun. So this is the first thing that al misthalu wa makanat fa'uhu harf illatin. Means the word which its kalimatul fa happens to be harf illat means wow or ya and that's why definitely it is what methalu al, al methal and it, either it is wow that it is methalu wawi or it's uh, kalimatul fa is ya it is methalu yai so this is what uh, the definition of methal is now we are going to learn about the qawaid and definitely when we talk about the qaida the first of the qaeda that happens, uh, that is the change that takes place, that is in Muzare. That is in Muzare. And uh, the first two qawaid, they're related to, we, we need to understand the juziyat of the qawaid, means the conditions there to be fulfilled before the application of the qaeda. So the two qawaid, they are very important to be understood and that they are uh, very important to be specialized, memorized and practiced. So the first qaida is about qaida to ya'idu, ya'idu. Actually, it was yaw'idu. When we talk about wa'ada, because it is from babu gharab yadribu. So it is wa'ada yaw'idu. It was yaw'idu, yaw'idani, yaw'iduna. Taw'idu, taw'idani, yaw'idna. Right? But uh, now because of some change it took place, and because of that change, the vow was uh, dropped and it became yaidu. So what is the condition that it needs to fulfill before the application of the qaida? So we go through the qaida itself. The vow sakin that comes between alamat muzare maftuh. Now this is to be remembered by us. And how we remember, I'm going to analyze in front of you. Now you see, in yaw'idu, the ya is what alamat muzare and it is maftuh. What, what does it say? It says, the vow sakin that comes between alamat muzare maftuha or the alamat muzare that has fatha on it and kalimatul ain that has that is maqsura or kalimatul ain with kasra. Then such a vow, this is what vow, sorry. Such a wow. So, such a wow, we can make it in inverted commas. Such a wow becomes mahduf, hadaf, or such a wow is uh, dropped. What is the condition? It says that uh, then when vow sakin that comes between, in between, what in between? The alamat muzare that is maftuha and uh, kalimatul ain that has kasra. 
the kalimatul ain that has kasra then that vow is dropped so from yaw idu if we see the example vow sakin comes in a kalima where alamat e muzari is maftuh and kalimatul ain is maksur so this vow is a dropped mahdhuf or hadaf so from yaw idu it becomes ya'idu from yaw rithu it becomes yarithu from yaw jidu it is it becomes yajidu it is clear is it clear ji yes, sir mashallah ji yes so this is the first example and first means qaida sorry example of first qaida the first qaida we have learned it i repeat for the sake of repetition and for 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 better understanding that uh, we are talking about a dropping of vow sakin so if vow sakin that comes in between alamatu muzare that that has fatha that is maftu and kalimatul ain that is maksur or that has kasra so that vow sakin is dropped because of these two conditions so from yaidu it is yaidu so from now it will become yaidu yaidani yaiduna taidu taidani yaidna taidu taidani taid taiduna taidina taidani taidna aidu naidu right and the other examples are over there now we are going to second qaida second qaida is same but it is a variation one of the variations one of the variations what is the variation this qaida is qaida of qaida yahbu qaida tun yahbu this is known as the heading is ya maftuha maftuha maftuba zamma yahbu so what does it say the vow sakin that comes between alamat muzare maftuha alamat muzare that has fatha and kalimatul ain and kalimatul ain and either kalimatul ain or kalimatul lam happens to be from huruf halqi this is the second condition this is the second condition what we should say that uh, the qaida yahibu it says that vow sakin that comes between alamat muzare maftuha and kalimatul ain is maftuh kalimatul ain is also maftuh but what is the condition that either kalimatul ain or kalimatul lam of that kalima kalimatul ain or kalimatul lam of that kalma kalima happens to be from huruf halqi that vow sakin is also dropped now in that situation vow sakin also is also dropped sister saima what are the huruf halqi mm, the six hamza ha ain ha qain ha very good hamza ha ain ha and ghain kha these are the huruf halqi so in the qaida of yahbu if the alamat muzari is maftuh waw sakin comes between alamat muzari maftuh and the kalimatul ain that is also maftuh but the condition the additional condition is that that either kalimatul ain or kalimatul lam that happens to be uh, that happens to have a harf that happens to have a harf what is the harf from huruf halqi any harf so let's uh, analyze the examples now you see yahabu was yahabu now the conditions are met number 1 alamat al muzari is maftuh kalimat al ain is also maftuh and kalimatul ain also happens to be from huruf halqi and waw sakin comes in even between alamatu muzare and kalimatul ain maftu both of them they are maftu so it would be dropped it is now yahabu from yahabu yahabu from yahabu okay man analyze the second example what do you say about second example hurry up So the alamat al mudari is maftuh, and the fa ul kalima is also maftuh, and the fa ul kalima is from alamat al fa huruf al khalqi. Ah, ain. <laughs> the kalima ul ain is from huruf al khalqi. So the why there is dropped? Khalqi, khalqi. Oh, it's khalqi, not khalqi. 
<laughs> okay, so Halki. Brother Eman, you are coming with novel <laughs> so ideas the these days. There is Ilka. What happens to you now? <laughs> You're making more zikr these days? I think I'm not enough. That's why. <laughs> okay, yes. Again, go ahead. Again. Uh, this is means I was giving you Lukmas. Mm -hmm. Analyze it. Explain it. Mm -hmm. So the Alamatul Mudari is having a Maftuh, is Maftuh. And the Fa'ul Kalima is also Maftuh. Fa'ul not Kalimatul Ain. The Ainul Kalima is Maftuh. Yes, the Kalimatul Ain is also Maftuh. And the Kalimatul Fa is Sakin. Because the Kalimatul Ain is Huruful Halki. Mm -hmm. uh, that is why the wow that is uh, sakin will be dropped. Okay. Yes, Sister Saima, explain it. Right, okay, well, Brother M was correct. It's just um, Kalimatul Lam was um, had huruf halkia, and that's why the conditions have been met, and you drop the wow and becomes um, is that a sort or a dot, sir? Okay, it means uh, if we we, we do yo it, yo uh, yo we, you we do it very properly, systematically. Then how will you start again? Start right. Again. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I'll just um um jump in the gun there. Right. Okay. So because the um the the alamatul mudari is maksur, and um the maksur? um and sorry, it's maftu. It's maftu. Sorry, it's maftu. And um, the the ayn kalima is maftuh, and wow has come in between it. And the ayn, the lam kalima is um, from the um, huruf halkia. Mm -hmm. Then the wow will be dropped, and it will become the yo du'u will become yo du'u. Okay, very good. So we say that wow sakin. We are talking about wow sakin because wow, it sakin, comes in yes. between alamatul muzare that is maftuha. And Kalimatul Ain Maftuha. And also the condition that either Kalimatul Ain or Kalimatul Lam happens to be from Huruf Halqi. So Lam over here is Ain. And Ain is what? Kalima, uh, huruf from Huruf Halqi. From Yawza'u. So what would be dropped? It will become Yaza'u. Okay, Sister Rida, can you repeat whatever we have discussed? Oh, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam. Wa <clears throat> for the first rule i'll uh, uh, tell you the second rule i'll try because i have not uh, heard properly because uh, there is a disturbance so the first rule is uh, uh, the alamate muzare should be maftu and wow uh, sakina should be in between that alamate uh, muzare <clears throat> and ain uh, kalima and ain kalima should be uh, maksur and then wow should be dropped. Okay, okay. Try rule number two. Rule number two Alamate Muzare is Maftuf, and the Purupe Illat is wow, Sakina should be between. And Alamate Ain also, sorry, Ain Kalima also Maftuf. Mm -hmm. And uh, it should be between wow should be between the alamat uh, uh, um, um, and kalimatul uh, uh, ain and ain uh, and lam kalima uh, any one of them should be uh, from the huruf halki. Very Is it good. correct? Mashallah, very good. good. Correct. So we are discussing okay. the kawaid about what? What are these kawaid about? Misal. Okay, what is when, Misal? Uh, Hurufe uh, Illat, uh, that is, Hurufe um, Illat comes uh, um, in uh, Fa Kalima. Okay, very good. So, Misal, misal is of how many types? Misal Wawi and Misal Yayi. Okay, very good. Very good. Alhamdulillah. So, all of you have, mashallah, understood. Very good. Very good. Jazakallah khair. May Allah increase in your amal and ilm. 
Mela make it everything easy for you. And may Allah Almighty make you master of all these things that you should, uh, whenever you get time, you should communicate to others who are not knowing Arabic, right? Okay. So Qaeda Iddatun. Now we come to Qaeda Iddatun. So again, we will try to uh, break this Qaeda. Break this Qaeda in different parts. So Qaeda Iddatun. So, Brother Eman, I would like you to read it properly. Read it with full concentration without saying Huruf Halki is Khalki, without calling Kalimatul Ain of Kalimatul Fa. Read it very properly. Yes. Bismillah. So, it's saying any Masdar of Mithal Wawi on the scale of Pi'lun. And there happens to be the alil in the Fi'lul Mubari of the same Masdar. The Kalimatul Fa of the Masdar is dropped and the uh, Ta Marbuta is uh, increased at, the, at its end. The Kalimatul Ain is made Maksur and Kalimatul Lam is made Maftur. Okay, so number one is what? Any Masdar of Misal Bavi means we are talking about Masdar, not Mazi, not Muzare. This is first thing. And that is on the scales of fi'lun. Fi'lun. Fa maksur. Ain with jazm and uh, lam. Definitely. Fi'lun. This is the first thing. Any master of misal wawi on the scales of fi'lun. So this is qaida iddatun. Qaida iddatun. Sorry. Id, not iddatun. Iddatun. Qaida tu iddatun. So any master of Mithal Wavi on the scales of Fi'lun and there happens to be Ta'lil in the Fi'lul Muzare of the same master. Yes. What is the Ta'lil in the Muzare in the same master? What is the Ta'lil? What is the Ta'lil? What do you mean by Ta'lil? Does it mean um, the weak letters, sir? No. Yes, what is Talil? Yes, yes, yes. Means you can it means the weak letters. letters. Huh? Does it mean weak letters? Weak, no? No. Talil means there has been any change. Oh, they right, okay. brought any change in them. Because of Talil, Yaw'idu becomes Ya'idu. Because of Talil, Yaw'habu becomes Yahabu. Right? So there is Ta'aleel in al means of Felul uh, Muzari. This is what this, uh, this is the meaning of the. Uh, like like Yam Dudu became, uh, uh, like Yam Dudu became Yamuddu. All right, yes, okay. Yes. So we are talking about Misal now, right? So in Misal, we say that any master of Misal Wavi on the scales of Fi'lun, on the Vazan of Fi'lun. This is the first thing. Number two, and there happens to be ta'lil in the Felul Muzare of the same master. There has already been change made in Felul Muzare of the same master. Then the Kalimatul Fa of the must. Now, the, if these two things happen, when these two things have already happened, these two things are proved, uh, these two conditions have already been fulfilled. What are those conditions? I repeat, because I'm repeating to make it easy to understand. Number one, any master of Mithal Wavi, master, not fell, not fell Mavi, not fell Mudare. And what is that? That happens to be on the scales of Fi'lun. That is on the scales of Fi'lun. This is first thing. Number two, and there happens to be Ta'lil in the fell Mudare of the same master. What happens then? Then the Kalimatul Fa of the Master is dropped. This is the first result. The Kalimatul Fa of the Master is dropped. Number one. Then the second thing. And Tai Marbuta is increased at its end. Or Tai Marbuta is added to its end. The Kalimatul Ain is made maftuh because idatun. Okay. 
and sorry kalimatul ain is made kalimatul maksur sorry kalimatul ain is made maksur ain is made maksur ain idatun so ain is maksur and lam is made maftuh dal maftuh ain maksur and dal maftuh so from wa'dun and wahbun and wisnun three of them if we see three of them they are on the version of fi'lun wa'dun wahbun wisnun number 2 talil has been done in three of them because wa'ada ya'idu it was yaw'idu it becomes ya'idu wahaba yahabu and wazana yaw zanu or wazana yaw zinu then it becomes wazana yazinu right so what happens over here if these two conditions are fulfilled i'll repeat that i'll repeat that it becomes edatun hibatun zinatun so what is this qaida this is the qaida edatun just this is qaida ain maksur dal maftu i'll reshare these notes inshallah having them corrected and also whatever the cross is over there i'll also put white on it so i will correct them and shall resend them reshare with you so this is qaida idatun ain maksur dal maftu and tai marbuta at the end how this change take place what are the conditions or prerequisites to bring these changes in that now this qaida says any master of mithal wawi on the scales of fi'lun and there happens to be talil in the fellow muzari of the same master talil we have we have come to know the what is the talil then what happens the kalimatul fa of the master is dropped that is to be dropped and the tai marbuta is to be added at the end and the kalimatul ain would be maksur and kalimatul lam is made maftuh so this is what qaida idatun this change takes place when two conditions are fulfilled number one the master is on the version of fi'lun number two there has been a ta'lil in the fi'l muzara of same master then what happens kalimatul fa is dropped number one tai marbuta is added to the to its end number three kalimatul ain would be made maksur number four kalimatul lam would be made maftuh so the examples are why like wa'dun it is idatun because waw is dropped and an is made maksur dal is made this is kalimatul lam maftu and ta marbuta is added to the end so it becomes idatun i wa'dun waw is dropped an is made maksur dal is made maftu and ta marbuta is added it to its end so it becomes idatun Wehbun, why is dropped? Ha is given makasra, ba is given fatha, and ta marbuta is added. So from wehbun, it is hebatun. It has already fulfilled the conditions. It is on the scales of failun. Number two, there is talil in failun muzare. So when two conditions are fulfilled, then what happens? Kalimatul fa is dropped. Kalimatul an is made maksur. Kalimatul lam is made maftu and ta marbuta is added to its end. So from wehbun it becomes hibatun. Number three, wisnun. So fi'lun. Number two, ta'lil in the fil muzari. Yes, the wow is, means kalimatul fa is dropped and the ta marbuta is added to its end and kalimatul ain is made maksur and kalimatul lam is made maftu. So from wisnun it becomes zinatun. And sometimes, means sometimes, sometimes we know that there are the words used like generally, usually 90%, normally 90%. And when we say uh, often or often, it is more than 50%. Sometimes means 20%, likewise, or 15%. Sometimes kalimatul ain is also made maftuh. This is what the says sometimes means in some verbs not everywhere when you will start reading yourself a lot you will be going through the masader you will come to know the changes they take place there there are some masader over there that that the kalimatul ain is made maftu so this is this this relates to 
extensive reading, inshallah, and you will do, inshallah, in future. So sometimes it is maftulan from this un, it is si'atun or sa'atun. Both, then even it is maftul ain, so maqsurul ain is also possible. From this on, it is si'atun or sa'atun. So this is the third guy that we have completed. Any questions? So do you know the um, kasra that's given to um, the... Unmute, sister, unmute. You have been muted again. Uh, oh, sorry. Hmm. Um, Right. Okay. So, do you know the um the kasra that is given to the um ain kalima? Is that because mm -hmm. the um the wow had the kasra and it just got transferred? Uh, yeah, yes, but it, uh, yes, it can be. This can be possibility or probability. But uh, actually, this has not been mentioned. But mashallah, because you have been going through various kawaid, in that there is a transfer of harakat from one to another, right? Okay. Yes, means can be possibility, but is it is not expressly mentioned in the kawaid when they are mentioned. You're right. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, uh, Aman, are you done? Gee, that is clear. Sister Rida. Yes, sir. Alhamdulillah. 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 So now we are moving to Kaidatu Mizanun. Kaidatu Mizanun. So may Allah Almighty make us strong that in future if we uh, go for uh, digitalizing these notes in a way that we are going to computerize uh, like uh, on Word or PDF format. So we'll be doing inshallah in good manner because uh, we, we uh, intend to do everything in English. So that's why then inshallah we'll do some collaborative work that uh, we uh, uh, document everything properly. Okay. So, Qaidatu Mizanun, and there, inshallah, we'll uh, type mistakes, other mistakes will finish them. There won't be any possibility then, inshallah. So, this is Qaidatu Mizanun. Qaidatu Mizanun. Yes, sister, uh, Saima, read it. Read the Qaida. Right, okay, so the wow sakin that is غير mudram and its maqabal is maksur, then the wow is changed into ya with condition that is not in the kalimutul fa of babi ifti'al. Um, for good. example, mu 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 zanun. Mu zanun. It becomes mizanun, and um, iu iu ju is that jalu 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 sorry iu jalu maftu iu jalu iu jalu becomes i jalu, and iu jal iu jal becomes i jal, as in amr form, but yeah. cannot be applied on um iu taada and ij ij tewa don is it ij ij live ij live ij live don ah very good mashallah. So this is uh, Qaeda Qaeda to Mizanun. The name of this Qaeda is Mizan and uh, it has some conditions. The Vau Sakin that is Ghair Mudgam. Ghair Mudgam, you know that Mudgam and Mudgam Fi. If there are two Huruf of the same gens, the first of them is if it is Mudgam and the second one is Mudgam Fi. So now that is wow sakin, but that is not uh, mudram, means that not such a wow that may, may become mudram, and the second wow is mudram fi, so it will be, there will be idram, or there will be application of idram. So we are not talking about such a wow, we are talking about wow sakin, that is ghair mudram, there's no possibility of idram over there. And it's maqabal is maqsoor. This is the second condition. First condition, the wow sakin, that is ghair mudgham. Number two, it's maqabal is maqsoor. So these are the two conditions. If the, these two conditions are met, then the wow is changed into ya. That wow would be changed into ya with the condition that it is not in the kalimatul fa of the babi ifti'al. 
means it does not come as a kalimatul fa in bawifthal. If it is not, if it is from the bawifthal, such conditions are not to be applied. This this change will not take place. So I repeat, what is the condition? What are the two conditions? That the vow sakin that is ghair modgham number one. Number two, its makabal is maksur. Then the vow is chained into ya. Then third condition is given at the end with the condition that it is not in the kalimat fa of the babu iftial. So this, we, we actually, we are changing vow into ya. Vow sakin into ya. Vow sakin is, changed, is, is to be changed into ya. Two conditions are met first, and the third condition, then we have to look for the third condition as well. What are those two conditions? That vow sakin, that is ghair mudgham. Number two, when there, there is a chance of idgham, how that can be changed into ya? No possibility. Number two, the markable of the vow sakin is maksur. Then definitely it will be changed into vow, ya. Yeah. Three, we have to see that they, that vow should not be kalimatul fa in babu ifti'al. Then this, this uh, qaida will be applied. And this qaida is known as qaida, qaida to mizanun. So say for example, it is mivzanun. So we see, we, we apply the conditions first. Vow sakin. Makam al maksur. Vow is not mudgham. Vow is not mudgham. Okay, and its makabal is maksur. So now this vow is changed into ya. So from mivzanun it is mizanun. This is the qaida of mizanun. Number two, if jalu. This is if jalu. Jim with mafatha. Now again, vow is not mudgham. Number two makabal is maksur. This vow is going to be changed into ya. And this vow is not also kalimatul fa of bab ifti'al. So from if jalu it is e jalu. And it cannot be applied on if ta'ada and ijlawada. Why? Why cannot be applied? Yes, Ayman. Why cannot it be applied on if ta'ada? Because wow is foul kalima in bab ifti'al. Very good, mashallah. To it's uh, because it is on the scales of if ta'ala. And wow, sister, sister uh, Saima, why why can it not be applied on ij lavaza? Ij livvazun. Ij livvazun. Um... Because it's it's not a very mudram that's been mudram that the wow. Yes, very good. It is mudram because it was ijli uh, ijli wadun ijli yeah. wadun. So the, the yeah. first wow is mudram. So it was the wow was performed into mudram fi. So it became ijli wadun. So there's no chance to. Change this vow sakin, the first vow sakin into ya. So it cannot be ijli wadun. It cannot be. So it is. it has to remain ijli wadun, right? Because the condition that is what? Ghair mudgham. Good. Okay. And uh, the amar of uh, mentioned this in the chapter, ibjal, it becomes ijal. It becomes ijal as well. And you know the reason. You know the reason very well because this vow is what ghair mudgham its makabal is maksur so it will be changed into ya so it becomes ijal right so in if ta'ada because it is on the scales of if ta'ala rather vow is what kalimatul faf bab ifti'al cannot be applied Ijlibbazan, the first vow is what? Ghair means mudgham. It is not ghair mudgham. It is mudgham. So it is not applied. So this is qaida to nisa. Any questions? So, sir, um, the reason why it's not used in um, the babi ifta'al is because is because um, that is used to um, change into ta. Yes. Yes. Right, okay. yes. You have gone through the Mashallah Kawaiit. 
Yes, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So we are left in this session. We are left only. We have. Well, we are left with only one minute or less than one minute. So what do you say? Should we go further? Are you ready? It's up to you. Your availability. I am, sir. Yes, I'm okay with this, sir. Okay. Sister Rida, do you understand these things? Yes, sir. I hope that you're well now. Alhamdulillah. Yes, I'm well, but I'm afraid, sir. You are? I am afraid. Afraid of what? <laughs> 